Hey, Cheryl Lazar coming to you with the Fembots of VidCon, as they like to call themselves. You want to introduce yourselves again? I'm Kat. I'm Shauna. I'm Tessa. But that's not, those aren't your names, though, in, on YouTube. You want the interweb name. The interweb. Interwebs. Well, I'm uh, Nanalu. Kat Riffick. Nanalu? No. <laughs> I thought it's Nanalu. No, it's either way. Okay, uh, I am Mika Kitty. Very nice. and, and you guys just went on stage to talk about women in this whole YouTube world, am I right? To some degree, like we kind of just they asked us a lot of like questions about us, but someone did ask a, us about women in YouTube. Yeah, today I won't ask you about the color of your eyes or anything on this video, but um, in terms of your stories, like why was it important for you to start doing stuff on YouTube? Why was it important? Yeah, why, Gosh, what like, drew you to doing it? I guess like I spent a lot of time at home and online anyway and I considered myself like an internet geek because a lot of my friends were all online and um, I started making videos because I found like some other, I found the community just like through a guy named Ben Loca and I just started making videos because he made videos and I wanted to be like him and other people that I thought were cool on YouTube so. Yeah, yeah that's exactly the same for me. I mean uh, you fall in love with the community uh, through whoever that you um, are drawn to because it's such a huge community. There's someone for everyone that you can relate to. And then you just realize the power of expression and you just kind of get addicted to, you know, Expecting. here's what I think. <laughs> well, and my thoughts are very important. Yes. Very important, <laughs> yes. And you? Oh, yeah, that's pretty much my story summed yeah. up. It's the uh, uh, lack, uh, well, for me, it's the lack of IRL friends and then the, I could be friends with these internet people. Exactly. I should try that. <laughs> so. That's what drew me to it. They look like how fun. Do you, once you, I guess, have that one video that people notice, how do you keep people engaged and coming back? I don't know <laughs> why people keep coming back. I just keep making videos and they keep watching. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I guess, like, it's the same thing. I mean, it sort of yeah. baffles everybody. It's like, oh, it worked. What did I do? How do I keep it going? I don't know. You just, just try to stay true to what you're doing and who you are and who you want to be online and... It just, it worked out for us, I guess. Yes. Do you have any tips for people out there? You have a lot of fans here. Were you surprised how many fans are here at VidCon? It's early in the morning. I didn't think anyone was going to come to our panel because they're like the first people. I was like, no one's going to come. There's going to be like 10 people. Yeah, I wouldn't go. It's too early in the morning. Go. Nope. Sleep too time. Early. Sleep Sleeping is important. Time. Yep. So YouTubers sleep because sometimes you think they don't. It, or or <laughs> internet people, like, but we do. We to eat, like, we <laughs> sleep. <laughs> like prime. Six a.m. to like three in the afternoon. Yeah. That's the that's the prime. Time. So like nine forty does not fly well. Like that is bad o'clock yeah. for us. Any crazy fans here who you've met? Just really sweet ones, yeah. honestly. Yeah. No, no one's crazy. Everyone's so nice. Like yeah. this is, I I've loved to death every person I've met. Everyone's yeah. so nice, and all the other content creators are so wonderful and supportive. And I just I love coming to these things because I love meeting the people. Because I have this like philosophy that like if you like my videos, then we have the same sense of humor. Therefore, we could be friends in real life. So it's it's like meeting all these people that you're like, no way, you like Harry Potter? I like Harry Potter too. <laughs> it's just fun. It's like a big family. Like what does the future hold? What are you guys looking forward to doing as you continue in this crazy landscape? I don't want to answer first. <laughs> I'll answer first. Um, I'm going into uh, both pre-production in television, like the writing aspect and acting. So, and I'm going to keep doing YouTube because that's I love having control and I love creating my whole project. So, uh, YouTube is going to continue, and I'm just going to feel my way out everywhere else, I guess. LA is calling. La La Land, Hollywood. Um, I am going to go to school and study video production is the plan for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with video production, but something video-wise, because I really like the um, behind the scenes and I like the post-production and I really want to learn how to rotoscope. That's yeah, like me too. number one on the things I want to learn. Uh, it's just so like you can... Uh, it's when you clone yourself, and it's like you can you can punch into the same frame. So it's like you can have your clone punch yourself, like Wheezy Waiter or does. Or not even a clone. You can put yourself in other people's yeah. videos. Yeah, yeah. And like, even if the camera's moving, you like, it's incredible. I want to learn amazing. how to do it. You, Cat. I pretty much am like a tech girl. Like I like startup companies, like websites, and You're I a Daily Booth also. I'm very in love with the website Daily Booth, and I want to just like stay there as long as I can, and just like hopefully go with them for a while. Cool. Well, you ladies rock. Thank you so much. Keep on bringing the fembot power to the interwebs. Lots of the fem.
There you go. All right, have fun. Thank, Thank you. you.